removing the battery. So you got to take out all of these, which are 12 millimeters. There's a bunch of tens up here for this fan. There's some other tens on the other side and over here. The tens tend to cover up this kind of stuff over here as well. Then we've got this one goes in here. Okay. There's a large, uh, a 14 millimeter uh, nut that goes down in here. So these here, these plug in on this back side and the trunk side. Also this one down here, that slips onto this metal piece here. Okay, see that vent hose there? That connects to the back side of that battery, which is now out. This weighs more than I thought. It's not quite a hundred pounds, but it's heavy. If you move the two bolts out of here, you can pull the cover off. So I've slipped the battery back in. It slides in, if you will. There's a plastic piece down here that's like a vent. Like related to the hose. The hose is over here. Um, it's very difficult to get in. I still don't have a perfect alignment right here. So we'll see as we progress. Here's the cover back on this side. You see these screws here? Okay. There's a piece of shroud. These will go in here. This goes over. Okay. So this piece goes right here. Okay. The rubber hose here goes back in here. This is a rubber exhaust duct, plastic rather. And I can't get this to line up perfectly yet because of but anyhow, we're moving forward. So the terminals here have these little round-headed ones. So that's going in, right? All these just obviously snap together. This goes on the little metal tang back here. So it won't start because that new battery is probably dead. So I'm going to have to take this downtown to a dealership and have that high-voltage battery charged. That'll be a separate video.